everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Today's video, I am bringing to you back to school items that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is carrying a lot of back to school items. Some of them are really great buys and some of them not so much. Some of the items you can get a better price for at Walmart. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the items that I think are great buys at the Dollar Tree and the items that I think aren't such great buys. So let's jump into it and let me show you the items that I found at my Dollar Tree to help prepare you for this upcoming school year. Starting this Dollar Tree back to school haul off, I found these matching composition books and folders. This is a three ring folder. It's about an inch is what the ring is. It's a plastic folder. These are so stinking cute. I found three matching sets. This one was my favorite. And of course, Allie loved this unicorn one. How stinking cute is that one? And I also found this elephant one, which would be a good one for say junior high and high school kids who are looking for a more mature design. These composition books go for $1.48 at Walmart. That is a 48 cent savings. Walmart carries these plain one inch three ring binders. This is a harder cover binder for 87 cents. If you're looking for a set, Dollar Tree has cute sets. Walmart's got the plain binders. I also found three different student monthly planners for this upcoming school year. This one here was just monthly. So you can see you just have the squares every month to fill in. This planner here was my favorite. It has the days, so it gives you more room to fill in for upcoming tests, when projects or homework is due. And this planner here, basically the same thing, just a smaller version. And these are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Kayla just bought one at Walmart and I wish she would have waited because she paid $7.97 for it. I also picked up one of these desk calendars for Allie to keep here at home, something visible that we can put on the refrigerator or stick in her room. You can use a dry eraser on it because it has that protective clear cover on it. I also found these gel pens in an eight pack. They come in red, blue, black, and this multicolor. At Walmart, for a regular big pen, a 10 count is $1.17, and that's just a big pen. I also found two different types of highlighters. They come in an eight pack. You can get solid yellow or you can get this eight pack that has the four different colors. At Walmart, you can get a four pack of these highlighters plus two bonus yellow ones for $2.24. The better buy is at the Dollar Tree. A four pack of dry erase markers and an eight pack of permanent markers is another great find. Walmart's Expo Dry Eraser Markers, $4.97 for an eight pack. And for the Sharpie Permanent Markers at Walmart, you're looking to pay $6.97. This eight pack of glue sticks and this one giant glue stick. At Walmart, you can get a six pack of glue sticks for $2.27. Or a two pack, two for a dollar. For the jumbo glue sticks, $4.97 for a three count. So that's $1.97 savings. You can also pick up a compass and a protractor at Walmart. It goes for $1.68 for the set. And how about this scientific calculator with a flip cover for a dollar? At Walmart, the cheapest one I found was $8.77. Fantastic buy. They also carry these cute pencil pouches. Walmart's plain pencil cases by Pen and Gear are 186, making Dollar Tree a better buy again. They also had these fun decorative pencil cases. This one is stinking cute that Allie picked out. You can also find the hard plastic pencil cases at Dollar Tree with lots of fun designs. 
And they also had this real fun one that was kind of like a slip drawer that buttons to keep it inside, this cupcake one. Allie really liked that one. And it's a pretty even buy when looking at the harder pencil boxes. And a 10 pack of these tab dividers. I did, however, find a five pack of these tab dividers by Pen and Gear at Walmart for 47 cents, which is equal to what you get at the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree had them as a 10 pack. A 16 pack of sheet protectors. And at Walmart, you could get a 10 pack of sheet protectors by Avery for 445. And this two pack of unicorn folders that are plastic by Jot is another fantastic buy, 50 cents a piece. Walmart carries the Mead pocket folders for 97 cents for one, making Dollar Trees a better buy. Dollar Tree also has a 24 pack of Jot number two pencils. At Walmart, you get a 24 pack for 447 and that's on rollback. These latex free, non-polymer erasers that go on the top of your pencils and a 10 pack of pencil grips. A six pack of pink erasers by Jot. A two pack of these correction pens. Fantastic and these work great. And this adorable happy face plastic ruler. And of course, nothing new to Dollar Tree, a dry erase board. This is something that I utilize all year with Allie because it is a dry erase board and it helps us cut down on paper use. And for those high school students that have PE and need a lock for their locker, you can get a tool bent combination lock at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has 200 sheets of college ruled paper Walmart carries 150 sheets for 82 cents. And if you're taking geometry this year, you can find 80 sheets of graph paper here. For 80 sheets of graph paper at Walmart, you're gonna pay $3.47. Although Dollar Tree doesn't carry the one subject notebooks, they do carry a three subject notebook that has 120 pages in it for a dollar. At Walmart, the one subject has 90 pages in it and you're paying 25 cents. So Walmart is the much better buy for this. And how about 36 sheets of multicolored construction paper? This is always great to have because I know with Allie, she's got projects throughout the year that we need construction paper for and I don't always like to use my colored cardstock. So this is a great buy. You can also pick up a two pack of kids safety scissors or the single pack by Westcott, which is a really good brand name. At Walmart, you're gonna pay $1.47 for kids safety scissors. And lastly, I found these index cards. They're not the individual ones. They come with dividers and it has 60 index cards. This is really cool. I also found this five piece backpack set. It comes with the backpack, a lunch kit, ice pack, a large pencil bag, and a water bottle. What an amazing buy for a backpack and a lunch bag for $9.88. You can't beat that. I initially bought these two backpacks for Allie. When she saw the unicorn one, she had to have it, so I figured I'd keep these two for upcoming years. Items that I would buy at Walmart instead of the Dollar Tree are Walmart's crayons. You can get Rose Art crayons four for a dollar. And I'd also stick with buying my glue at Walmart because again, you can get a bottle of glue for 25 cents versus two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Make sure to head on over to Allie's channel this week where she does a review on Dollar Tree's flip flops. You can find the link to her video in the description box below. And there you have it. These are the items that the Dollar Tree is carrying to help prepare you for this upcoming school year. I hope you all found this haul informative and it helped you decide where you can get some of your back to school items. Dollar Tree is definitely a one stop shop if you don't mind paying a little extra for things like crayons and the subject binders. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes. 
Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day and happy everything on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. Thank you.